Hey guys, welcome to another episode of That Figures. I am Anthony. This is Collector's Entertainment Network. And we're going to keep on rolling through, going through some of the old case packs that I bought when I used to work at Target. I'll get to that in a second. But first, I'd like to ask you to please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you back. Please comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And of course, please share this with anyone you think may like it. Okay, if you've been watching these videos, you know the story. But if this is the first video you're watching, um, I used to work at Target back in 04 to 07. Star Wars Collector, when the stuff came in, I used to buy the case packs if I needed the entire case packs, but I'd bring the box home. I was, uh, you know, a guy in his 20s or... Uh, yeah, in his 20s and then into my 30s. I was a Star Wars collector. I was single. So I lived in apartments. And then, of course, I moved from apartments, apartments, apartments. So I never had a big space to put my collectibles. So I kept them both in the boxes for storage purposes and for moving because I moved from a few apartments. Of course, now, married. My wife and I own a house. We're going to finish our basement and put a collectible room down there. But um, they've been in the box for 15 years or so. So we're going to see what's in this box it says hasbro toy group it does say target stores where are we target stores um and if you look at the sticker it says star wars and then it says battle collection i don't know i'm imagining this is what is originally in there but again i may have used the box for moving purposes so let's find out what's in here your guess is as good as mine okay so, again, these are not factory sealed. I bought them back when they came out, and but I've sealed them up, again, for storage and um, moving purposes. But now we're in our home, and we're eventually going to get that, my dream, the collectible room downstairs. Okay, let's open this. And I do have lots and lots and tubs of uh, figures down there that are not in case packs, like a lot of tubs. But... It's kind of hard to bring up an entire tub and show you here on camera. These are nice little uh, little snapshots of my collection. And they're in nice small boxes that I, you know, they're easily manageable. Ooh, yeah, this looks like a full case pack. Oh, what is this? This looks like the episode three greatest battles. Okay, so we've had a previous episode where it was the episode three um, heroes and villains line. That's what it was. This is the episode three greatest battles line. I'm going to do a quick count. Let's see what we've got. We've got two of, oh, there's 14 in this collection, but there's obviously only 12 in here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So I wonder what we're missing if we've got any doubles. I've got two, I've got three, I've got four, I've got five. Um, I've got another three. Oh, no, was that the three that I've got? All right, let's just go through them. It's going to be hard to uh, try and figure out what I have like this. All right, let's start right here. This is ATTE Tank Gunner. Again, these are episode three greatest battle bat, greatest battles collection oh here are the figures right here but that's only 12 right there it says of 14 2 of 14 you can see right there you go ATTE tank gunner all right that is figure one and then we've got count Dooku episode 3 greatest battles collection this is 4 of 14 and there you go. Count Dooku. Okay. I'm going to try and stack these over here nicely so they do not fall. Okay. 7 of 14 is R4G9. These are all from Revenge of the Sith. And they are the Greatest Battles Collection. And this line also still comes with your little red or blue like it looks like a holograph figure i always said like they look like little chess pieces that you could play um who do we got here Ooh, royal guard this is nice i like that figure and of course by the time of return of the jedi when we see the emperor the royal guards look very similar but they're red here they are in the blue 
And I don't know why they would be Royal Guards, because it is... I mean... It's still the Republic at the time we see them, so it shouldn't be Royal. It should be Chancellor Guards or something like that, but okay. All right, moving on, and that was 5 of 14. And here is, ooh, 13 of 14. Of course, they make the bad guy number 13. That makes sense. Emperor Palpatine. He, of course, would be number 13. So Emperor Palpatine, I hope the stack is quite precarious. Let's see if it stays. And number 10 of 14 is good old R2-D2. Oh, it says try me. It probably doesn't do anything anymore. No, nope, it doesn't do anything anymore. But this is the first one that said try me. Now... I wonder what kind of battery's in there. Well, whatever kind, it's dead. I mean, it's been... What did this say? 07 or something? I don't know if it said. But they're probably from 06 or 07. Here is R2. Here is number 12 of 14. Good old Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, cool. He's got that little visor thing that he wears when he is in his um, Starfighter, I guess. Jedi Starfighter, 12 of 14, Obi-Wan Kenobi. All right, that stack's getting a little high. I'm going to put them in the box. And here we've got Wookiee Warrior, just generic Wookiee Warrior. Okay. This obviously is from the Kashyyyk battle in Revenge of the Sith. Did you ever notice all the Wookiees in that battle are way bigger than... Chewy, both, uh, maybe not so much tall, but they're just bigger, like, you know, they must have got a bunch of football players. All right, here is Kit Fisto. He is 8 of 14. When we're done doing this, I'm going to quickly put them back in the box in order, and I'll let you know exactly which ones I have and which ones I don't have. So there is Kit Fisto. Very cool. Oh, well, we had R2 before, and now we've got C-3PO here in Greatest Battles Collection. That looks like him on the Tana 4 at the very end of Revenge of the Sith, of course. So that is 3PO. I've got two more, and they're both clones. One is a... Shock Trooper, 11 of 14. Very cool. That is Shock Trooper, 11 of 14. And here is just Clone Commander. Generic Clone Commander. Not Cody. Not any of the other ones that have names. Just Generic Clone Commander. All right, cool. I'm going to put these back in a uh, box. I'm going to try and put them in order so I could see, and we'll see what ones I have and which ones I'm missing. All right, I've got them all back in the box. Look at how beautiful they look. I've gone through it, and it looks like I don't have one, and I don't have six. Let me look at the back of one of them and see if it tells me. It doesn't, and it only gives you... It, act, it gives you 12 figures plus or i should say minus the figure that's there so in each figure and then you've got the figure that it is and then you've got 12 figures there but if you look at this you know and there's no 3po there so then if you look at this say att tank gunner that he's there he's not here but you've got 3po so they replace um the figure so that would be a total of 12 13 who's the 14th one who's number one I don't know. But what do I not have? I've got those two droids. I've got Kid Fisto. I've got Clone Commander. I've got... What is that? Okay, it looks like right there is a 501st Legion Trooper. That's not in here. Let's see if I can figure out who else is not in here by looking at the back. So the 501st Legion Trooper... And, I mean, everyone but this one. No, it's 13 total. 
So let's figure it out. Okay, I figured out who else is the other one. It's a Padme. I thought I saw a Padme figure in here, but I did not. So that, she would probably be number six. Because if it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and then the 501st Legion Trooper is number one. So I have to look through other boxes, other things, and see if I have those. I'm sure I do, but who knows. But uh, that's it for this week. Um, another one, we'll probably take a look. I've got a few more boxes down there. We're going to uh, probably go through them too. I like these videos because it shows you a little snapshot of my collection, but I don't have to get the big tubs and all that out so I can get some content up there, get some of you guys who love these Star Wars figures from around that time, get you guys some videos to take a look at and share with anyone, um, post on some of the Facebook groups, and... And yet, I, and, then, and yet I don't have to get all those big tubs out. But eventually that's what we're working to. We're working to that collectible room downstairs in the basement where I'll have everything on display. I'm thinking, I'm hoping, we're, my wife and I are talking about it probably next year. Probably next year we will have the funds to do that. Uh, all right, so that's it for this week. Of course, this is Star Wars related. So I will say, may the force be with you and have a good one.